Would anyone else like to ask a question? I'll ask someone. Of course. Thank you, Peter. This is going to take forever. <laughs> oh, there's about 15 questions incarcerated in one. I have, but I'm Yes, I know, I can feel it. Yeah, but I'll pick the nice easy one. No, but that is not the one you want answered, so carry on. <laughs> is it as simple as magnetic attraction? No. Okay. So that is like having two magnets with polarity, would you understand yeah. this? So you have the non-alike attracting the not-so-dissimilar. Then you have, uh, like in this room, in some ways you're all disproportionate to each other. Would you understand this? Yes. But there is a common bond. Yes. So if you were to look at the energy field, there would be different vibrations and different colours. God, this is so much easier. Right, your energy is so much easier. Would you understand this? Yes. You've worked hard on this, well done. Thank you. My learned friend is also saying to me, wish it is too hot to change the dynamic now. So we are just leaving as it is. But you see, you know they have been around you. Would you understand this? Yes. And you also know that you have been worked, have you not? Yes. It's as though someone has had a finger up your back. Yes. Would you understand this? Yes. And I'd like to say to you, at this time, in this dimension, there is other dimensions working with you, yes. which is what you have asked for. Yes. Because also, if your understanding is correct, and then you have a different dimension working with you that can fly and do all interplanetary, galactic, however you want to word it, that is outside the sphere of understanding, yes. then you've asked them to work with you. Would you understand this? Completely. Right, I would just like to say to you that with this, you have felt your energy field change. Would you understand this? Yes. It becomes to vibrate in a total different capacity yes. than previously. Yes. And on a healing vibration, you are still continuing to send healing to someone that is no longer around you, a gentleman. Would you understand this? Yes. That has asked you to work with them also. Yes. Would you understand? this yes sometimes you can be quite stubborn would you understand this yes, yes you see i'd like you to know that they have a similarity with yourself and you just understand them would you understand this yes, yes. but this is not magnetic this is very much on a vibrational energy but it is also an attraction but it is beyond that it is about thought would you understand this okay yes because they have eyes oh, my learned friend is saying to you, so you have a ringing in your left ear yes. at this time. Would you understand this? Yes. And uh, your right hand side feels off center. Yes. Would you understand this? Yes. And your right leg is disassociated with you. Yes. You've had some form of inter planetary activity, but it feels to you as though it is uh, kind of out of body, but not. Does that make sense it to you? Actually, yes. So this is a vibrational symmetry. You see, you have uh, got to put up with me and someone telling me what to say at this time. But I'd like to say to you, there's not a dissimilarity in that to a magnetic attraction that you are talking about. Yes. You see, so you've had, uh, right, Oh, how to word this? So, it isn't an encounter, but it is similar to that. Would you understand this? Yes. So, uh, there is an energy field behind you at this time that feels quite light behind you. Mm -hmm. So that is attracted to your gentler side. And then there is a more physical corresponding energy that is attracted to the more masculine dominant side of you. Yes. But they both work in symmetry with you because your body is open to both. So magnetic perception is sometimes not so easy to understand. Does that make sense yes. to you? Yes. So polarities are pulling, but they are different in energy fields. So I'd like also to say to you, this makes sense to you. Yes. I'd also like to say to you, there's a pulsing now from an energy within your foot. Would you understand this? Yes. You see, this energy is becoming from the earth center. 
because of your sensitivity now, and it's a lot different, you understand all this. Yes. You are pulling in all kinds of polarities of energy. But not just to say that these are all on a magnetic field. They are because the centre of the earth is magnetic in vibration. Yes. But that is not what is coming through your foot. What is coming through your foot is a natural energy. This is a natural high, you see. You're a... How do I word this? So if you were to imagine that there's a well of energy, a well of... Uh, water retaining energy that is within the earth's core because is it not made up of mostly water yes so this is flowing this energy is what is pulsing through you so this is a water filled energy but of course the energy that is coming from external out of uh, this hemisphere oh, that is a big word <laughs> my learned friend is just trying to drip feed me and it is not quite so easy in some ways it would be easier but they are realizing that it is so hot in here that this would affect this communication and I wish to leave it as it is. Would you understand this? Okay, Would you also understand that someone is stood in front of this medium at this time? Yes. Ah, they've just walked through, have they not? Yes. Would you understand yes. this? Yes. Well, it is like they just appeared. So what you are visualising, what you are sensing is real. But you cannot ever explain it to anyone else. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense to yeah. you? <clears throat> Because actually you feel as though you're in uh, somewhere you've never been before. Yes. So this is the answer to what you are talking about. And I would also like to say to you, your spine uh, has energy trans... <laughs> so if I was to say to you it had kundalini energy pulsing through it, would you understand this mm -hmm. as a receptive tool that is being used? So you've asked for this. You see, sometimes, ah, you see, you are trying to charge yourself with energy also. Would you understand this? Yes. How wonderful for you. So that is no provocation from my learned friend here whatsoever, of course. <laughs> But I would like to say to you, everyone else in this room has gone beyond their comprehension. Yeah. Would you understand this? So, you see, again we are talking about perception. Again we are talking about those in the room that understand and those that do not have that belief system or it is not in their vocabulary. Do you understand this? Yes. Quite eye-opening, is it not? Mm -hmm. So, when I say to you very much that, uh, uh, how to explain this then? There is a being stood with you that has horses' legs, and it is very much of Greek mythology. Would you understand why they yes. are stood with you? Well, I don't, so that is very eye-opening <laughs> for me. <laughs> but my learned friend has told you, you see, so this is another perception of the mind. Yeah. So what says you cannot call under Greek gods? Yes. What says you cannot do this? Only the belief system of that individual. But you have to be aware of the belief system of that individual. Does that make sense to you?